As humans, our lives have become so intertwined with technology, we don't even realize when we're changing technology and when technology is changing us. I think the days of automating human tasks are behind us. Now we really need to think about humanizing our computer interactions. So in this insurance age, with the new attention span, how do we keep the impatient digital brain occupied? Our brain's telling us, bring it on quickly, but do it in small doses. So we need to figure out how we're going to humanize these interactions to keep ourselves occupied. National Life is a learning organization, and we're adapting to this change. In the end, it's all about the customer and establishing confidence with that customer. How will National Life attack this challenge in the coming years, and how will the relationship with your customer change? Today, customer confidence is not about satisfaction. It really hinges on trust, and trust requires relationships. Every interaction we have with our customers is time to make a deposit into the trust bank and grow that deposit every time, even with digital interactions. So how do we make our relationships with these computers personal? How do we make interactions feel honest, feel genuine? That's the next step about humanizing our computer interactions. InsureTech can be defined as applying digital technologies to traditional companies or new companies adapting digital technologies and entering the market. What qualities do insurance companies need to build in the coming years to compete? Insurance companies talk about insurance products. InsureTech talks about software products. Let's talk about a different product, service. Everybody in our industry and other industries want to have a better customer experience, but how do we do it? It's really at the heart of technological advancement is humanizing that interaction. As an industry, we really crawled under the regulatory rock and said, really, it's hard. Insurance is hard, it's complex. We don't want to do anything different. But when you think about it, let's look at a different industry, the IRS. Those tax codes are really complex, probably more complex than the insurance industry. But there's a company out there, TurboTax, that's figured out a way to simplify it for 80% of us. Why can't we in the insurance industry TurboTax our world? I think it's all about service. When you want it, where you want it, with simplicity. IoT is a technology that everyone is talking about. How do you think it'll impact the insurance industry? IoT is all about connections. There's countless interactions between humans and machines every day collecting large amounts of data. Can we use this data to change the way we behave? Or as humans, are we going to remain unpredictable? I really don't know. We need to understand these technologies and pivot. We should be driving IoT and not having IoT drive us. This is not a solution looking for a problem. There are ethical, there are legal, there are moral and security issues around this technology. We need to get in front of it. We need to address them before we can harness the power of IoT. What roles do new technologies such as artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, machine learning, and blockchain play in the insurance industry going forward? All of these technologies to me are about humanizing our machine interactions. Whether it be artificial intelligence, machine learning, natural language semantic analysis, it's all about that computer interaction and making it human. Let's go about a decade ago where our computer said, error, can't compute. Now with AI, with machine learning, with natural language semantics, it actually understands us a little better and says, could you try that again? It's really about predicting that behavior. Our technology needs to get humanized before we can figure out how to harness it.